exercise is going to be performed as a complex of movements where you're going to be performing one movement after the other until the full series is complete, counting as one rep. Start by holding your dumbbells at hip level with roughly a shoulder width grip. First perform an RDL by driving your hips back, basically performing just a standard hip hinge, allowing for there to be a slight bend in the knees as well as keeping your shoulders back. From here, pull the dumbbells up and back towards your hip crease or towards your belly button, making sure that you squeeze through the shoulder blades and then return the dumbbells back to your knees. Now we're going to get explosive. From the bottom point of your RDL, you're going to drive the hips forward explosively, making sure to keep the dumbbells really close to your thighs, and then you're going to push through your feet, driving the weights upward, just again, make sure that you do keep them really close to your body. By doing this properly, you should get clearance off the ground, achieving what's known as triple extension, where the ankles, knees, and hips open up, full extension, and the dumbbells are going to start to drive upwards. Now, with this driving upwards, it might be helpful for you to imagine that the dumbbells are kind of like you're zipping up a zipper, to keep them nice and close to your body. And this is the point where you're going to have to kind of scoop the elbows under the weight in order to catch or receive the dumbbells onto your shoulders. Just make sure that when you do catch them, you catch them with a slight bend in the knees, you stand up tall, and voila, you completed the clean. And next, we perform the press. To do this, you're going to slightly drop the elbows down a little bit. You're going to perform a quarter squat or just a slight squat down, and then you're going to explosively push through your ankles, knees, and hips to drive that weight upward, making sure that you do keep your arms relatively close to your ears or kind of get the head through the window. Lastly, we have to perform the squat. Start by catching the weight back onto your anterior deltoids. From here, drop into a standard front squat, dropping as low as you can, and then return back to the top, standing nice and tall. One thing to be aware of, though, is that you may need to adjust your foot placement for this part of the complex, but it's just something to be aware of. Now lower the weight back down to your knees, and this is going to count as one full round or one full rep of your complex, so be sure to repeat for the given reps.